programs you want is the GCR uh, rebuilder, uh, the file location, uh, basically a blank file where you can put the 20xx ISO files in, and you're going to want the 20xx ISO. So you're going to want to open up the GCR rebuilder, then you're going to go to image, click open, click on the file, which is 20xx 4.04, 20xx 4.04, click on that, and then you're going to click, uh, right click on the root, you want to click export, and then save it to the file location. Now I'm going to go uh, stop the recording um, while this downloads. It should take you only like a minute or two, at least, or at most. Uh, so I'll be right back. So you're going to get a message that says, OK, done. Now what you're going to want to do is you can close out of this for now, or just minimize it. Um, I'll just close out of it. I have like a few open. Um, Alright, so now that you have the file, um, just a basic overview of what we're going to do is we're going to want to uh, you know, go into the root and then look at the audio file. Now it has all these uh, different songs on here, you know, it says uh, and it's mostly numbers and uh, these HPS files are basically like MP3 files, but they loop. Uh, now if you're familiar with uh, Brawl music modding, uh, it's basically a similar process, uh, but it's a lot more... Um, hands-on I guess you can say so uh, yeah these HPS files are basically looping mp3s and uh, we will be able to you can make them or you can uh, download them off a website which is what I do so here's all the HPS out of my current music list so what I do is that I've, I go into a website and I'll show you that website in a second but um, just what is a good system to use and I really like using this system is I copy and paste the name Alright, that first, of course, put the the the, the stage that it will be under, and then it's going to be, you know, um, Spear of Justice, Asgore, and they're all labeled 01, 02, 03, 04. So these these files are um, have the song Spear of Justice inside of them. Um, you know, Finale 0.04.hps has the Finale song from Undertale. Uh, Ghost Fight, you know, each their respective file. Uh, now, as you look further down into the list. Uh, it's the same for basically everything. I have a few hidden surprises that I won't be sharing with secret shh. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the HPS part. Now this is very confusing for some people, but I'm sure that once you get the hang of it, um, that it should be really easy. And, as you can see, it's in hexadecimal, so, uh, the naming will be very f weird to you at first, but then you'll get the hang of it. So, you know, zero it'll go 08.hps, 09.hps, and then it'll go to 0a, 0b, 0c, 0d, 0e, 0f, and then to 10hps, and then 11.hps. So that's it for this part. You're going to want to go on to smashcustommusic.com. Um, it was formerly known as a Brawl music site that hosted BRSTM files, or Project M music, basically. Um, so you're going to want to find a song that you want from a game. Now, look for a game that you want. They have a lot of games. They have, I don't even know how many games, but definitely, uh, I probably looked at all, not all, all the songs, but I definitely looked at this list and it took me three hours to look through every single uh, game, you know. So I will be going to um, Kingdom Hearts, I guess. Let's do that. So uh, here we go, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, you know, open a new tab so you can leave this list open. Um, you know, and here's all these songs. So, let's see here, what would be a good song? Oh, okay, it's the, uh, what's it called? Parts of the Caribbean theme. So, um, I like that, maybe I'll make that a custom, or maybe I'll make that mini music. So what I'm going to want to do is, I can right click on it, or just click on it, because I want to open it in a new tab. So I'm going to open it in a new tab, and then I'm going to click uh, download or add template for on the drop down menu and then click melee and then you want to click original name or you can basically click anything but I like original name because it's easier you want to download the HPS file okay so now that you have the HPS file you're going to want to put it on the desktop and then you're going to want to I'm just going to minimize that everything to make it easier and now I'm going to name it uh, you'll be naming it if this is your first ISO you'll probably want to be naming it 01.hps but I'm going to be naming it for the HPS because that is my I do not have a current custom song there so I'm gonna want it as 4D HPS 
So I'm going to go to my music list, and I'll add that. So I'm going to put that underneath Hidden Surprises, since uh, I guess I don't really know why I have it, but maybe we'll make it as mu many music. So I'll put that in there. Uh, should do 40 HPS. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to be adding that to the uh, file location that we just made. So you're going to want to go into there, and then you want to go to the root file, back to audio. Now, oops, here's all the music that I currently have. Now you can see that there is already a 4D HPS file, if I can find it. 4D. So this was made uh, just recently, but um, I'm going to drag this one in, because uh, we just we just create all the files from the ISO. So I'm going to drag this one in, and it's going to say, uh, are you sure that you want to um, replace it? And you say, yeah, replace this file destination. <coughs> so now we have the custom music in the game. So now you're going to want to rebuild this ISO um, so you can have a new ISO with that music on here. So this, this ISO right now that I have is now no longer the ISO that I really want. So I'm going to move it up here because it's, no, it's no longer the ISO that I'll be using. You're going to want to be opening up GCR Rebuilder and you're going to be going to um, you're going to be going to root and you're going to want to click open and then I'm going to open up file location or whatever you name the file so file location and then I think you want to click on the root yep there you go okay so now it's all there um, you know if you look in the audio file uh, it should have the I don't know where is it nah, I probably have to look really far down but oh wait I didn't even look in the audio file did I? oh whatever it's no big deal but anyway it's there um, so now you're going to want to click uh, I think it's what's it called and what was it? I haven't done this in a while. I think you want to, yeah, you want to click save, and then you want to. I'm going to call it the new ISO. All right. So now that it's there, you're you're ready to rebuild it. So rebuild it. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. Um, you know, you can already see it right here. It popped up on my uh, desktop, and I'm going to put that into Dolphin. Uh, but you can put this on your SD card um, and plug it into the Homebrew channel. It should be working fine. But uh, since I want to be testing it out on my computer. Um, I'll just be having it in my ISO folder. So I'm going to drag this over to the game folder that I have for Dolphin. Um, so I'm going to drag that in, and I'm going to boot up Dolphin. I'll, uh, I'll put back on the recording once I have Dolphin all set up. Okay, so now that um, you're going to want to open up 20xx, the ISO on your Dolphin. Um, and let's see here. Let's get it open up real quick. Oh, you can already hear the undertone music that I already have on here. So you want to go back to the menu. Um, and you want to go to debug menu, and then you go to music codes. Um, and then, you know, right here, it's the song preview. So, unfortunately, I cannot rename it, but um, it's a difficult. You have to go into the uh, hex decimal program that I have, hex editor Neo. There's a uh, thread somewhere on Smashboards about it. If you guys are really interested about it, then I'll link it in the description, too. Um, but, yeah, here's all the music I have. Um, you know, this is not from Mother 2, um, I don't know what it's from, what is it from, I don't know, I can probably check on my notepad, but whatever, you know, this is, uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go to the 4D.HPS, um, now, where is it, right here, alright, so now, once I press the A button, it will play, uh, it will play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song. Alright, I don't know if it's a theme song, but I know that it's from Pirates of the Caribbean, or of the Caribbean. So, now that I have that, I can put that as uh, mini music, and uh, I don't know if I already went over this, but uh, basically, if you get a uh, if you get a memory card, not an SD card, but a memory card, like a GameCube memory card, you can save playlists on your Wii if you have the Homebrew channel, if you're running the SD card, or if you're running the Melee ISO off of a SD card, or a uh, USB from the homebrew channel, so that's very very easy and it's very um, it's but it's very easy to do to uh, have your music playlist saved. So I'm gonna be showing you just a quick preview uh, what you can do. You can go to uh, all right. So you want to go to custom music playlist, and for me, I have the first like 12 ISOs that I have all um, where is it? Battlefield. My first 12 songs are all Undertale music. So uh, yeah, okay. So right here. So I'm gonna be changing them real quick. Oh, shoot. I'll just put them up on my other monitor so I can quickly change them. I'll probably fast forward to this part in the video. But wait, actually, you're going to want to put them on, uh, what's it called? 
I think it was custom only. Damn, I think it's random playlist actually. So, wait, what was it? I think it was random playlist. Um, yeah, I don't think that's what the um thing All right, so now um, we have the music set up. I can go to Battlefield now and I can play. Um, I can listen to that music. All right, so yeah, I basically don't have the uh, menu music set up that you can set it up. It's going to play the um, Undyne's theme until I change it because the 01.hps is the menu music. So you're going to need to change that around. Um, so I'm going to be playing on Battlefield real quick. Um, this going to be tough. I haven't played on... 20xx or uh, dolphin in a while, but so here we go. Going to battlefield now. So there you go. It's playing the uh, spider dance theme. Uh, you know. Anyway, but uh, yeah, it's basically it. That's all that. Uh, you can see my S was kind of lagging with OBS. Um, but yeah, it's basically about it. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, this is my first uh, tutorial, by the way. So I'm sorry if I sounded very nervous or anything like that. But uh, um, I'll have my HPS file list, you know, with all the songs on here, um, in the description somewhere. So if you want to just easily just uh, copy and paste all this music, um, please do that instead of just finding your own music. It's really good music. It took me over like two months with all my friends to perfect it, and I think it's getting it's looking really good. And I'll make updates to it. You can follow me on Twitter if I uh, if I update it at Big Hot Slam Jam. Uh, the Twitter or the the handle might change soon. I don't know, but um, if you want any updates or if you just want to thank me. Anything really is appreciated. I mean, I'm happy that um, people have been asking me how to do this. Um, but, yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.